Hi, my name is Stuart Redout, and this is a short video blog piece about the changes in uh, the Outlook web app for Exchange 2010. Now, my organization's used Outlook for some time, uh, but because I'm a Mac user, whenever I've used Outlook web access, I've always had degraded performance or the light version of that, which makes it very difficult for you to access some of the more complex functions that are in Outlook. Now, with the new Outlook web app on Exchange 2010, we have the full access to all the functionality, regardless of which browser so you're on. So here I've got this email from Engage. Now when I right click I'll be able to mark that as unread or do any of the other functions that I would expect to do on the full Outlook client or on the previous versions where I've had to use Internet Explorer. Uh, and it just makes your life a lot easier in terms of managing your email and moving things around. Uh, the other thing that's new in Outlook 2010 is the conversation view. So here, uh, the conversation view allows you to save space by grouping replies all together in one place. And it makes it a lot easier to track an email. So here we've got an email about our school timetable. If I click the triangle on the side, I can see all of the history of that email here. Uh, and who's responded at different points. So it's really useful uh, and saves you a lot of time when you're trying to track back to replies and things like that. The other thing which is really, I found incredibly useful, is the new, is the new way that calendars are managed. Previously, uh, I couldn't integrate uh, a shared calendar and my own calendar in the Outlook web access. Now my school uses a shared calendar to hold all of our appointments and meeting structure. Now using uh, Exchange 2010 and the Outlook web app, we can do that and I can view my calendar and the school calendar side by side, which just makes life a lot easier. Although they're small, small changes, to me as a Mac user, I find that the cross-browser performances improve greatly and I no longer feel like a second-class citizen for using a Mac. Thanks for watching.